Hello fans and welcome to VMIKeydets.com. We're here with cross country head coach Jen Fazioli to discuss this year's program. And coach, first off, let's start with the women's team. Uh, certainly a little bit less experienced than there's been at times in the past, maybe a little bit of a retooling year. Talk about who you're looking at at the top level of that program. Uh, well, definitely, we <laughs> our depth is, is not our strong suit. We lost um, our top two runners uh, last year, so um, we only have about six or seven healthy women right now. Um, we do have a very strong top two, though. I would say um, Dalton Kuhar and Hannah Dickinson um, are working really well together right now. Um, so I, I think those are clearly uh, the top two. Dalton uh, returned to our program after a couple of years away and uh, had a really strong summer of training in Utah, so she got a lot of good altitude training this summer. So that's helped. Um, I think it was tough for her when, it, when she was doing it, but it's definitely showed up um, in the past, in the first couple of weeks of practice. Um, and then Jen, just Hannah's just continued to progress um, for the past year. Um, I, I think Kelsey Newcomb um, could step up and, and be right behind them, um, but she's pay, playing catch up a little bit, um, not having come in with as much work over the summer. Um, and I think still trying to convince her that she can be a cross country runner, not just an 800 runner. Um, and then I'm not real sure what to expect from my freshman yet because we're just getting her from matriculation week, so so we'll see how everything goes. And her first race is this Friday. So. Okay, uh, you mentioned Hannah Dickinson certainly took a big step forward during the last track season, PRs in five different events. Uh, can you talk about her just a little bit more? I, th I think with Hannah, she um, she just continued to put in the work. Um, she does exactly what I asked her to do. The work's there. She has no trouble motivating herself. Um, and I think it's just paid off. Uh, distance running is not a sport where um, progression comes easiest. Um, it's, it's small steps instead of leaps and bounds. And so I think, um, you know, indoor and outdoor is where she saw all her hard work pay off. And I think her summer training, um, will lead to a very good, very solid uh, cross-country season. And I think with her too, it's just um, improving her confidence. I think the more, um, the better she races, the better her confidence gets, and then it just becomes a perpetuating cycle. The more, the better she races, the, the higher her confidence goes, and it just leads to better races. All right, switching gears over to the men's team, certainly the first name you gotta look at is Cabell Willis. Correct. Um, Cowell's a senior this year, um, and I think he's very, very determined, very focused to make this his best year yet. Um, and I would say he started that off on a good foot with having his most solid summer of training um, that he's ever had. And he feels really strong. Um, you've seen it. I've seen it already in his first summer workouts and in the time trials. So I'm expecting big things from him. Um, I know he would like to be all conference, um, maybe finish in the top five to ten at our conference meet. Um, I know he just wants to go out on a strong note and I think as well um, not only stepped up his training but I think even as a leader uh, both on and off the course um, he stepped up as well so so both factors are big for me. All right uh, another key name for this year's men's team injured during last cross-country season but then eighth at the outdoor championships in the 800 Avery Martin. Tell me a little bit more about him. Yeah, Avery, I think, um, was somebody who we considered coming in more of a mid-distance guy, um, you know, 800,000 mile. Um, but we found that he's, I found that he's got pretty good range. Um, I don't want to totally move him away from the 800 and the mile, um, but I think he's going to help us in cross. I would expect, no matter what, he should be in our top three. Um, probably can be all conference. Um, and the big thing with him is just keeping him healthy. Um, so I think he's ready to make the next step. He had a solid summer of training as well. Um, but I think I've got to remind him that this is his first real season of cross country and to have a little bit of patience. So, but otherwise, I mean, he's looked outstanding. So for me, I, I still have concerns about his health, um, but that just means, you know, maybe not as much mileage as someone like Cavill is doing, which is fine because um, he can still race well off of lower mileage. Okay, alongside those two, you've got Sean Holmke and another runner that took a huge step forward last track season, Hartnell Paltrow. What do you look for out of them this year? Uh, with Sean, 
he's starting a little bit later than everyone else uh, because originally we had um, determined that we were going to do Junior Olympics and then step back from that. So his summer training uh, got started a little bit later than everybody else, which actually works out well for him as long as he can remember to have some patience and that his best races are going to come towards the end of the season. Um, but Sean always trains hard um, and is always ready to go. Um, he puts his best put his best foot forward um, for races. With HP, um, last year was a big year for him. Indoor and outdoor, he showed some significant strides. He's definitely a distance guy, so cross country should suit him. Uh, he experienced a little bit of issue with an IT band uh, the last couple of weeks. He's been mostly cross training, um, so I'll probably hold him out of the first meet, um, but that actually may work out well also for us because uh, he'll be peaking then more towards the end of October and November when we need him to be. So. Speaking of November, uh, the Cadets host the Big South Championships for the first time in several years in November out at the Vista Lynx Golf Course in Buena Vista. It'll be the last Big South Championship that any VMI team will ever host. Uh, can you talk about that for a second? Uh, well, certainly expectations are high and expectations are that it's going to um, go off cleanly and, um, and that uh, we'll be a good representative of the Big South. Uh, before we get out of the conference. Um, it, definitely there were some complications uh, switching venues. Um, Vista Lynx was uh, gracious enough to let us host it there, so uh, really all summer was just working on course design and trying to fine tune it. Um, but it's definitely a, a true cross country course and I think it's it'll be the challenge um, that I hope most of the conference is looking for. And so it, it should be a really good event. All right, we look forward to it, Coach. Good luck this season. Thank you so much.